the reason why triangulation I enjoyed so much is that remember how I told you in an earlier episode that one of the first things our eye does when it's processing what it sees is there's nerves that are set up to recognize the angles of edges so our eyes are fairly good at finding an angle it's one of its base processes this works into with the base process of the brain and the eye and the other reason I like this so much is that it is highly accurate triangulation or forms of triangulation are used for many different things it's used for locating animals in the wild you ever watch those nature shows they have the radar and they find the animal with the tag it's used in a similar form GPS in your car it's how it puts you right there on that road and tells you where to turn it's used in video games all those polygons that create those 3d models and those all are using a form of triangulation the thing I like most about triangulation is that it can be practiced and it can become intuitive to where your eyeball measurements you can trust yourself and accurately start to see these points without having to do the measuring you can figure out and eyeball these points and measure and measure and measure practicing triangulation is very easy all you need are two sheets of paper a pencil and some real boring time you want to fill so practice just randomly put some dots on a sheet of paper Put them all over, close together, fall apart, doesn't matter. So here we go, we have a bunch of dots. And to practice, what you need to do is pick two dots as your starting point. I'm going to pick these two dots as my starting point. I'm going to take a measurement. I'm going to put it over here on my sheet of paper. It's a lot easier if I make a starting point first. So there we go, we have two points. Now we can pick any other dot on here to try to measure two. So I'm going to pick this one. Now, there's two ways you can do this practicing. One, you can practice by lightly trying to eyeball in the angles and find the intersection real quick and easy to check get your pencils take some measurements look at there that is pretty close almost right on and the other way you can practice are let's see I want to measure this dot you can practice just eyeballing I'm going to use this dot and this dot and uh, kind of roughly looks like it goes right there again you can take your two pencils out and uh, it's fairly close off just a smidgen Now, these two dots are pretty close together. When you have dots that are close together like that, with practice, you don't even need to use a complete triangle. You can use a kind of clock and angle method. There we go. That's roughly that angle. Got my angles pretty close. I'll just try to eyeball the distance and I think I'm off but can always go and check taking two measurements 
Oh, that one's pretty close. Yep, pretty close to accurate. Now, if you really feel adventurous, you can start by doing a lot of them and not checking every single time. Start to trust your eyes when you get notice that your guesses are becoming close. And when you have a bunch of them done, take one. It's helpful to find your two starting points. Always these two starting points need to be actually measured because they're the foundation to everything else. But you can put the two over together. I'm using uh, this paper's too thick. But can overlay the two, match up your two starting points, hold it up to a light, and see how close you were. And if you do this enough, you're going to get really good with your eyes. And then sometimes it might not look right, and you'll want to double check. See? That one needed to be moved up to there. This is really easy to practice. And all this is going to do is improve your ability to eyeball measurements on their own. Now the thing is, as you move further and further away from these original two dots that you didn't measure, if you're not checking as you're going along, what you'll notice is your margin of error will get greater and greater and greater as you overlay the two. Let's understand why this happens. So if this dot is a little off and this dot is a little off. If I use those two dots to measure this dot, it is obviously going to be off. Even if I measure this triangle perfectly because these two original reference points are off, this point is going to be off. But you can always solve that kind of problem. By going back to your original two that you trust, and uh, I was only off by that much. Here we have one of the exercises we started back in episode 5. I told you that we'd be working on this again. If you haven't done the exercises from episode 5, I strongly urge you to stop the video now, go back, and do those.